Just how large is No Man's Sky? Let me start it off by saying it's pretty freaking large. But I'm not going to tell you numbers at all. You can find the numbers for how many planets there are, solar system, there's, uh, there's... You can find everything, right? Numbers mean squat. The numbers are so large, you don't know what that is. I mean, you see a large number, you're like, wow, that must be pretty big. But you've never seen, you know, eight quadrillion bazillion, right? I'm going to show you guys the galaxy or whatever you want to call it. All of these little bitty dots that you're seeing on your screen right now are solar systems. And I'm in one. I've been to two. Well, I've been to two. Yeah, I guess the first one I spawned in and then I traveled to the second one. But as I move around this map, just look, right? Look at how many there are. And this isn't even beginning to show you all of them. This is nowhere close to all of the solar systems that are in No Man's Sky. The big white thing that I looked at looks like a huge sun. That is the center of the galaxy or the universe or whatever you want to call this thing. And then there's this exact length on the other side and on another side and on another side and up and down and diagonal and any direction from the, it's it's four dimensions. It's not just three, four. There's so much in this game and in these little solar systems you can click on them see who discovered them which i have yet to find a solar system that has been discovered and it tells tells you how many light years away you are from the center of the universe and i think the planet that i'm on now is something to the tune of 175,000 light years but like i said that doesn't make sense to you you don't know how long that is because you haven't seen it if i said that mac is 15 inches you know how big 15 inches is, but you don't know how large this world is until you really explore it. And this isn't even beginning to tell you what's inside of the, these solar systems. This looks huge as it is, right? But there's these little bitty dots. In each solar system, there are planets, and it, they're not just grouped together, right? A planet to a planet, without using the overdrive or hyperdrive or whatever it's called... Uh, the longest that I've seen from not using any kind of boost is 10 hours. 10 hours away, like 10 hours in one direction to get to another planet. But luckily we have hyperdrive and I think that 10 hour got cut down to three or four hours. And then I used like the super hyper R1 or yeah, R1 L1. And it got me there in five minutes, I think. So five minutes that's still a very long distance in a game and moving at what speed you're moving at is just mind-blowing and even to travel to different galaxies takes a good little bit I would say it takes about a minute and 30 seconds or less to travel to each galaxy and maybe if you're closer to a galaxy than another then you can travel but luckily you have like a map out here and all of these stars that shows you the shortest path to the center of the universe and i guess that is when you could you complete this game i guess i don't know and, and i don't think there is a technical congratulations you're done 100 percent you could explore all of these planets and it makes sense whenever the guy said, the people that made it, 99% of this entire game will not be discovered in 10 years by all users or all gamers playing the game. It's incredible. I, like I said in my last video, I'm at a loss for words. You should definitely pick up this game just for the sheer fact that this is going to go down in history. Your kids are going to be talking about No Man's Sky just like you or your parents would be talking about Mario. You know, Mario was just that revolutionary game, that platformer game that people still talk about. And this game is going to be one of those games that doesn't die. You're not going to you're not going to find a person in 10 years that doesn't know what No Man's Sky is unless they've just never gamed ever. It's going to be an icon. This game is amazing. Hopefully you guys have it, and if you can't, like I said in my last video, let me know down below if you want any tips on how to save up on money or get your best trade-in values at GameStop. I hope you guys enjoyed it. My name is Aaron. I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Peace.